your merciful love, O God, we have received in the midst of your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with saving justice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. In those days, when all the land of Egypt was famished, the people cried to Pharaoh for bread. And, jo and Pharaoh said to all the Egyptians, Go to Joseph, what he says to you, do. So when the famine had spread over all the land, Joseph opened all the storehouses and sold to the Egyptians. For the famine was severe in the land of Egypt. Moreover, all the earth came to Egypt, to Joseph, to buy grain, because the famine was severe over all the earth. Thus the sons of Israel came to Egypt to buy, among the others who came. For the famine was in the land of Canaan, now Joseph was governor over the land. He it was who sold to all the people of the land. And Joseph's brothers came and bowed themselves before him with their faces to the ground. Joseph saw his brothers and knew them, but he treated them like strangers and spoke roughly to them. And he put them all together in prison for three days. On the third day, Joseph said to them, Do this, and you will live, for I fear God. If you are honest men, let one of your brothers remain confined in your prison, and let the rest go and carry grain for the famine of your households and bring your youngest brother to me, so your words will be verified, and you shall not die. And they did so. Then they said to one another, In truth, we are guilty concerning our brother, in that we saw the distress of his soul when he besought us, and we would not listen. Therefore is this distress come upon us. 
And Reuben answered them, Did I not tell you not to sin against the land? But you would not listen. So now there comes a reckoning for his blood. They did not know that Joseph understood them, for there was an interpreter between them. Then he turned away from them and went. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> May your merciful love be upon us as we hope in you, O Lord. May your merciful love be upon us as we hope in you, O Lord. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp, with a ten-string lute sing him songs. O oh, sing him a song that is new, play skillfully with shouts of joy. May your merciful love be upon us, as we hope in you, O Lord. The Lord frustrates the designs of the nations. He defeats the plans of the peoples. The designs of the Lord stand forever. The plans of his heart from age to age. May your merciful love be upon us, as we hope in you, O Lord. Yes, the Lord's eyes are on those who fear him, who hope in his merciful love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. May your merciful love be upon us, as we hope in you, O Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the Gospel. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. <clears throat> At that time, Jesus called to him his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal every disease and every infirmity. The names of the twelve apostles are these. First, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother. James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the tax collector, James the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon the Canaanian, and Judas Iscariot who betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent out, charging them, Go nowhere among the Gentiles, and enter no town of the Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and preach as you go, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus gives his apostles a sacred authority. They were able to drive out demons and heal the sick. They also won many converts to Christ by their preaching. It's interesting to look at this extraordinary charism the apostles had to act miraculously. It's interesting because we do not see this happen that often today. However, at the beginnings of the Church, it seems that miracles were quite common. One reason for this is that Jesus made quite a statement in the beginning 
to set things in motion. The miracles he did and those of his apostles were powerful signs of the power and presence of God. These miracles helped the preaching of the apostles to be more believable and bring forth many converts. It seems that as the church grew, miracles in such great numbers were not as necessary for the authentication of the Word of God. The personal lives and witness of believers eventually were sufficient to spread the Gospel without the help of numerous miracles. Martyrdom and acts of great faith became the true signs of God's presence. This is helpful to understand because we see something similar in our own lives of faith and conversion. Oftentimes, in the beginning of our faith journey, we have many powerful experiences of God's presence. There may be deep, consoling spiritual feelings and a clear sense that God is with us. But over time, these feelings can start to disappear and we can wonder where they went or wonder if we have done something wrong. There is an important spiritual lesson here. As our faith deepens, the spiritual consolation we may receive at the beginning can often fade away because God wants us to love and serve Him out of a more purified faith and love. We should believe and follow Him not because He makes us feel good, but because it is good and right to love and serve Him. This can be a difficult lesson to learn, but an essential one. Reflect today upon how deep and sustaining your faith is. Do you know and love God even when things are hard and when He seems far away? Those moments, more than any, are the moments when your personal faith and conversion can grow the strongest. <clears throat> Where our treasure is, so will be our heart. Let us pray that we can use the good things around us to give us freedom in working for the Kingdom. That our possessions do not become a hindrance to good relations with God and our neighbour. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That we realise that we must give not just of our goods, but of our very selves. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us, that our local church be not inward-looking or complacent. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us, that we have the courage to make radical changes in our lives. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us that our lives may always be a show of God's loving kindness. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Father, make us one with you always, so that our joy may be holy and our love may give life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name Purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Woody our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. To live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. receive Holy Communion right now, I invite you to join in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the hour of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, Thrust down into hell, Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the rule of souls. 